everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Strong Mind Soft Hat and my name is Joelle. It is first thing in the morning. You can probably tell by this appearance. And I didn't have the smoothest night. I still have a baby who is up multiple times through the night, although she's one years old now. So one years old, one year old now. So we're working on that. Anyway, if you are new here and you like food, vlogs, what we eat in a day, recipes, grocery hauls, mum life, homeschooling, any of those things, please hit subscribe. Thank you so much for being here today. If you are back, it means the world to me. Thank you so much. So the first thing I've done is I've just made two cups of coffee, one for me, oh, one for me, one for Dave, because I'm a nice wife. And uh, yeah, I use the Audi cups of coffee. So I don't know if you can see that one out there. I love the organic Audi capsule coffee. It's so good, seriously. It's like, hmm, creamy. We also put uh, cream in it. That might be why it's so creamy. We use this cream. I wish we had half and half here in Australia, like America and Canada does, but we don't. So we make two. This is delicious. I'm gonna take my vitamins as well. I'm still breastfeeding, so I'm an elephant and with some vitamin C as well. So we're gonna go have this coffee and pray, read our Bible, and I'll pick you back up at breakfast time. Alrighty, so for breakfast this morning, the kids are having some blueberry porridge. So I've just got that boiling there. I just make it out of quick oats, some desiccated coconut, some blueberries, obviously, some sultanas, honey, cinnamon, and milk. And it's delicious, and everybody is looking forward to this. How's your porridge, guys? Quite all right. They're also having some apple juice for breakfast. Darius is between haircuts, our battery died, so we're about to finish that off. And I am having just two pieces of gluten-free toast with a little bit of table spread, some cinnamon sugar, a banana, and I'm gonna try to drink that whole bottle of water while I feed May her porridge. Alrighty, so we're running a little bit behind today. So sometimes when that happens, I will combine lunch and morning tea together for our group time. So I'm gonna flip this around and show you what I've got. I think I should just point out that I am having a little break from Weight Watchers. I have been on Weight Watchers for about four months and I've really enjoyed it. And I absolutely will consider doing it again in the future. I feel that for now I've learned enough, like I'm already in a good pattern and habit of my portion sizes and things like that. So I'm having a bit of a break from it. I am trying to eat pretty clean uh, throughout the week, Monday to Friday. And then on my weekend, I am chilling out a lot more. I might have to do a, what I eat in a day on the weekend because that will be fun to film. But in saying that, I'm gonna flip this around and just show you what I've got the kids for lunch and my snack, and we'll keep going from there. Okay, so for the kids' lunches, they are having a peanut butter sandwich, just some chopped up apples, a mandarin, and some laughing cow cheese. They've all got water as well. Little May is sleeping, so she'll be having something else when she gets up. And for a snack, they've just got this sweet and salty popcorn, which is absolutely delicious. So they will be enjoying that while we do a lot of reading aloud. For me, I've just made myself my second cup of coffee for the day. That's just my instant coffee. That's not the Audi one. Um, and I've just got a bowl of just a handful of almonds and some dates as well. Alrighty, Michaela is up from her nap, so I'm going to give her her lunch as well. I just fed her um, mummy's milk, obviously, um, and now I'm just going to give her some mashed up banana. I just put a whole banana in there with a teaspoon of peanut butter in the microwave for 30 seconds, and I mush it up and I let it cool down a little bit. I know that peanut and peanut allergies and all that can be a little bit controversial. Hang on, Lily, one second. Um, so I'm not here to offer you any health advice, always go see your doctor, but I have found um, for my kids personally, I've always introduced them to peanut butter. I mean, I've eaten peanuts and nuts all throughout pregnancy, all throughout breastfeeding. Um, and then as soon as they're six months old, I introduce a teeny tiny bit of peanut butter, you know, with some of their puree. 
and I haven't had any kids with a nut allergy yet. So I'm not saying that that's the reason for it. I don't, I don't understand. I mean, I have a food allergy to gluten and none of my, the rest of my family, none of them does. So sometimes these things just happen, but I have found so far that this has worked for us. Um, yeah, that's just my little side note there. But again, not offering any health advice here. For my lunch, I am really not that hungry. I'm just not feeling hungry today. I don't know if I'm super tired. I'm not sure what the go is. Um, those almonds and dates sort of filled me up. So I'm just gonna have one packet of these. Not that I'm doing Weight Watchers, but I know that they're only four points. I'm gonna have an apple as well. And I might have just a little Coke Zero to sip on throughout the afternoon. But I can't talk, you can tell I'm tired. I've also just gotten um, our chicken kebabs out of the freezer to start to defrost them for dinner tonight. So we've got barbecue here and we've got some peanut satay as well. Okay, I am out of the house. I cannot believe it. I am out of the house. <laughs> I, I am, um, I don't want to go on and on about the lockdown because like, why? Like, what's the point of going on and on about it? So many people are in it. I'm honestly doing okay. I, I'm a little, I think my energy is low today and I'm not down or anything. I'm just super tired. My little sleep thief over there, as I like to call her, May May, has really not made my last few nights easy and so i'm just tired like really feeling it so i'm probably going to be having too much coffee today uh anyway i'm trying to drink water i'm trying to stay good but when i'm tired i'm either super hungry and munchy or not hungry at all today i'm not really that hungry so anyway i am out i'm about to run into woolworths because i need to grab a couple of things and then I'm actually taking a care package off to a friend. So with this strict tight lockdown we're in, we're not allowed to leave 10, within 10 kilometers or something of our house. And it can only be for essential reasons. We've been in lockdown now for over a month. Yes, May. So this is the first time I'm going anywhere. I know, May, we're going in a second. Outside of my immediate suburb. And I'm, this friend only lives like 15 kilometers away. But... I know me, we're going. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to be leaving for a minute. So I'm gonna run into Woolworths, grab what we need, drop off this care package. I know me, I'm coming. And um, probably pick up a coffee for Dave and me on the way home. Okay, I am back from running around and what happened was incredible. So I've come home ready to cook chicken kebabs. Um, and mashed potato, which is yummy, and I don't mind doing mashed that potato. at all. I was going to do mashed potato. What? However, I didn't even know that. The beautiful friend that I was dropping a care package off to had already prepared. I did not know she was going to do this. A whole dinner for our family, Amazing. and so I don't have to cook. We are home, and dinner is prepared. She has made what smells incredible: a lentil soup. A, it looks amazing. Lentil soup. She's also provided bread, which, which is already warm from the soup. She made chocolate cake, so we're all very excited about that. So the only thing I'm going to do is I might just make up a little cheese and herb bread as well on the side. And awesome. that's it. We are ready to eat. Are you guys ready? Oh, excited? Yeah. What a blessing, hey? Let's get this Thank game you. on. Thank you. You know who you are. I love you. Thank you. Okay, here's my little gluten-free pizza base before it goes in the oven. I've just put some olive oil on it. Gluten-free pizza. A little bit. It's not really pizza. It's like a bread, but it's a pizza base. It's not pizza. Okay. What's it? It's sort of pizza. Okay. It's my little gluten-free pizza, garlic pizza. Let's say that. It's gluten-free base, olive oil, some mozzarella, not mozzarella, cheddar cheese, Italian seasoning, and garlic and herb seasoning. Ready to bake it? Let's go. Three, two, one. Here we all are. Usually we have our dinner around the table, but Daddy wants to watch the Olympics. So he's finishing up with uni. And I've got a messy house with the Olympic boxing on. And our food. Isaac, is it yummy? You can eat your food? Yeah. Alrighty. I'm going to change this baby's nappy. 
and I'm gonna eat my yummy food too, can't wait. Well Dave, it's that time of night again. The kids have gone to bed. We've made it. We have made it, but talk about having a night off. So not only was I unexpected, unexpectedly, that is right, yep. unexpectedly given dinner tonight for my family. So I had a night off cooking. After dinner, you saw before my house was real messy, I had needed to feed May and put her to bed. And I asked the boys, could you please unload the dishwasher for mummy? And just, I just thought they'd give me a head start. Just unload the dishwasher, maybe load it if you can. I did not expect this. When I came back out, look at my house. They vacuumed everything. They did the dishes. They just went above and beyond. Daddy, are you proud or what? I am proud. What it's, good um, boys. It's a wonderful display of uh, responsibility. You and have taught them. You have taught them. Yeah, I think what they've seen is they've seen us uh, you know, live that and um, kind of show an example. Well, so. we've been, especially in uh, lockdown, trying to be a lot more diligent and making sure our home mm. is peaceful and neat for the most part. Definitely. I mean, throughout the day it gets messy, obviously, with kids. Anyway, that's all beside the point. Very happy. Now we're gonna sit down with our cheese popcorn. We've got some microwave cheese popcorn here. Yep. We've got some water as well. I think I'm sitting on it. I might cut up an apple or something a bit later as well. Mm -hmm. And we are going to watch our latest Korean drama. If you have Netflix, get into K-dramas. They are the best. You They're won't fun. regret it. They are very fun to watch. Alrighty guys, I'm going to close the food vlog here. I hope you've enjoyed it and I will see you soon with another video very soon. God bless. Bye. Bye.